Welcome to Hitman 3, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the trophy slash achievement called Ripe for the Picking. Now in order to unlock it, we need to complete three challenges, and one of them requires you to push the target into the Grape Crusher, another one requires you to poison the glass of wine, and the last one requires to poison both of them with gas. So the first thing you're going to do, when you spawn in, you're going to go over to the right, you're going to knock out the guard, and we're going to take his outfit so that we can travel around the area. For this playthrough, because we're going to take two playthroughs, uh, drop your gun because you're going to get frisked later. So you might as well get rid of it now so you don't have to worry about it. So the first thing we're going to end up doing is going off slightly to the right. And we're going to pick up a poison plant. And then we're going to head over to the building that's close by and make a vial of poison. You're going to need to do it for this playthrough. And then you're going to need to do it for our next playthrough. So get a little familiar with the process of grabbing the plant and then making the poison. After we make the poison, we're going to need to poison a glass of wine that one of the targets is going to drink. I'll pick it back up once we get closer to that part to explain a little bit more. But for this playthrough, we're going to do two challenges. First one we're going to do is called Pulp Friction, where we push the target into the Grape Crusher. And then the next one we're going to do is called To Loyalty, where we have one of the targets drink a poison glass of wine. So I'll be back in a little bit. Not that important, especially not then. I was an attorney. For four decades, I served the law. Now, I serve something far grander. I serve the land, and the land of Mendoza longs to make one. I grew up here. Looking good, man. Looking good. Okay, so beyond this entrance here, there's going to be a glass that we need to poison at the head of the table. You have to be careful through this area because you're trespassing. But if you flip a coin to the left, you'll get past these two guys, uh, no problem at all. Once you get inside the next room, this is the area where the two shortcuts are. Uh, you want to sneak in through the right side and wait for one of the guys to move and then quickly poison the glass at the head of the table. It's at the very end of the table. All right, so if you wait for the one guy to move, you should be able to do it fast enough and then just backtrack out of here. Uh, I do get kind of caught on the way out, probably because I didn't flip a coin good enough, but they don't chase you through that barrel door, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Next part is we're going to need to start the side story called the tour, so I'll pick it back up then.
Mr. Yates, what can I do for you? Okay, so once you get closer to this guy, you'll start the side story called the tour. Now with this one, I'm gonna fast forward the clip because we're gonna have to wait until he goes behind us and all the way towards the left so we can take out his buddy and the main guy. Once we dump their bodies, that's when I recommend making a backup save there. So you make a backup save, then we'll do one challenge called Pulp Friction, and then we'll reload the save and do the other challenge called To Loyalty, all right? After we finish those, then we'll have to reset our playthrough, but I'll be back once we're ready to start our first challenge. Seriously, who takes another man's picking knife? I, it's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Okay. Hey, you break it, you buy it. Damn. Every time I've got a rush. See, perfecto. All right, so now it's time to do our first challenge where we're gonna push the target into the Grape Crusher. So you wanna start the tour by going over where Diana and the other two guys are at. Uh, then we're gonna show them one thing and then we'll show them another thing. Once she gets close enough to the edge, then you can just push her over. Now you'll see me get the Trophy Slash Achievement uh, unlock after I push her over. That's because I did this challenge third um, I tried doing another one where I crushed them when she's sitting in the middle, but for some reason I did not get the uh, Pulp Friction challenge completed when I did that one, so I ended up getting it at this one. So you wanna do this one I'm gonna show you, not the other one that's over to the right. So after you get this challenge done, then we're gonna reload our save and I'll pick it back up there. And last but not least, our great crusher, industrial size for your Disposal purposes. Interesting. Follow me, please. This is our grape crusher. The destemmed grapes are crushed into a thick pulp by a powerful rotating cylinder, making each grape quite impossible to ID. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Fall into the bath and get crushed to a pulp? You'd have to be a bona fide idiot. A waste of space, if you ask me. Follow me, please. Mm. Okay, so now that you reloaded your save, it's time to move on to our next challenge. So you're gonna start the tour, but this time you're gonna completely finish it. But I'm gonna cut a good chunk of the video out because there's no point in me showing you the tour and everything like that. At the end of the tour, the other target's gonna come in and they're gonna go have their little secret meeting. Just stay around the area and listen to the one guard on the right hand side. And this is gonna start another sub story called Closing Statement. This is where you're gonna go in and get the wine. So I'll pick it back up once we get to that part. Out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates. Ready. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last. Okay, so now that you saw the closing statement show up, we need to get to the other side of that door and grab the wine. 
there is going to be two people in there, right? So the first person I take out is the one guy you just want to dump his body and get rid of him. But the second guy that I take out, you want to take his outfit because we're going to need it. I like to dump the body so that nobody will see them and you don't have to worry about that later. Now the code for the wine is 1945, but I'll have that up on the screen. Once you get the wine, you just need to talk to the security guide. When we get to that part, I'm gonna fast forward the video all the way until we get to the main part where we're at the table. 1945 Grand Paladin, any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Ugh, men like what? See what the hell that was. Yep, understood. All right, so all we have to do now is just wait for the guy to drink some wine. This part here takes forever, so I'm going to cut a good chunk of the video out. Now, the other target is going to get shot, so that's normal. Don't worry about that at all. But once everything all plays out, eventually that guy is going to drink the glass of wine, and that will complete our second challenge. Then we need to start a whole new playthrough so that we can set up both targets and poison them with gas. You will all attest to. Yes. 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 Yes, I agree. Yes. You there, Command? Yeah, it looks like uh, an accident. Over. Okay, so now it's time to set up our final challenge where we're going to poison both targets with gas. So I'm gonna speed up this part because this part is just like we did in the other playthrough. You're gonna to go to the right, you're gonna take out the guard, you're gonna go off to the right, you're gonna pick up the poison plant, then you go off to the left, you'll make the poison. But this time around, we're gonna go where the tour guy is at and we're gonna stay by him for about a you know 30 seconds or so just to start that storyline. Because by the time we get done with our next part, he's gonna be all the way off towards the left where we can go take him and his buddy out. So the next part after you start the storyline, you're going to go where the tech room is, where the air filter system is going to be at, where we need to poison, take out the two guys there so we don't have to deal with them later, and then dump their body so you don't have to worry about that at all. Then we're going to head back, get the tour guy's outfit, so knock out his buddy and knock out him, and then you're going to make a save there just in case something goes wrong you can reload it. So I'll pick it back up once we get to that part.
What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Gates wanted you to give him grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Gates, those are my friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, patron. Big shot to your lawyer like that. Don't want to get on the bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the clock is right for picking. Bring me the three more big grapes in case, Ramon. The Gates doesn't like how I prioritize. He can win me down with concrete. He's tossing over bridge. How's that? Uh. Three grapes, was it? Okay, get my picking knife. Oh, man, come on. I left. All right, so here we go. What you want to do now is just start the tour and completely finish it. So I'm going to fast forward the clip a little bit. Once we get inside that barrel room, I'll pick it back up there. Follow me. Hey, partner. First stop on the tour is the production floor. Uh, prize winning Malbec grapes processed. Our equipment is state of the art, including a dragon freezing unit. And last but not least, our great crusher, industrial size, and your disposal process. Interesting. Follow me. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium. In these spacious tanks, which could easily be contain a couple hundred human bodies, the sugars in the wine are converted to alcohol. This is also where we squeeze the must to refine juice using our great press. Fascinating. Come along. Final stop, the barrel room. Nothing dramatic, just wine, biting its time. The vault next door contains our most precious bottles. But the access doors are made from ballistic glass. We can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. So, unless you're the sparrow, don't get it. Okay, so we're at the final stop. This is the trickiest part. So what we're gonna do is the one target likes to follow you. So you're gonna see me kind of circle around at the back side of the area. The other target should be coming through right now. Now we need to quickly run to that one tech room where we knock the two guys out, poison the system, then to the right of that, we're gonna turn on the ventilation system. Then we're gonna go back out to where that barrel room is because you'll see that our target is starting to follow us. She'll be right around the corner, right when we get to the door. Give it a second or so. See, she's starting to follow us. So now we need to distract her by flipping a coin and getting her attention. She'll go and investigate the coin. Perfect. Now we're gonna go through this door over here, make our way up to the security room, and then we're gonna reroute the ventilation system. If you do this fast enough and she's still down there and the other target is there, then you will poison both targets and complete our final challenge. If this is your third and final one, this is when the trophy slash achievement will show up. So you can see right now the one target on the left is getting poisoned and then the screen comes up and shows the other target. And that'll complete the challenge. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, support the channel, and I will see you next time.